Hey, what's up, Jojo in the morning family? I hope everybody is having a really, really good day. Really, really good day. Hey, what I want to talk to you about is a heavenly excitement. I, now, I am generally a really excited guy, positive guy, always looking for the best. Philippians 4 and 8, think upon the things that are good, that are noble, that are just, that are praiseworthy. Meditate on these things. That's just kind of how I flow. That's just how I flow. But even beyond that, in prayer recently, what I'm feeling in my spirit, whoo, I mean, I get excited. I just feel like when I'm in a, my private prayer time, the closeness of God, he's closing in on me. That when we're in corporate prayer, I just feel the presence of God. We were in corporate prayer last week, and I get excited in prayer. I just get I get excited in prayer, church. I just get excited in the house of God. And I looked around, and some people were walking around, and we kind of pumping their fist, and you could tell they had a little jump in their step. And it's just like people are expecting right now. I've talked to a lot of my ministry friends, and they are expecting right now. I was talking to some uh, some people in uh, some businesses I'm a part of, and they're like, man, we're just expecting 2023 to be a phenomenal year, just a phenomenal year. And so that's what I want to talk to you about. Expect. Expect God to move on your behalf. Expect God to do what he said he was going to do. Have a heavenly expectancy. Now, when God pours out his powerful Holy Spirit on the earth, what is he going to pour it into? I love the story when the prophet told the little widow woman to get pots, pans, vases to pour out to the amount that she had containers is what she received. When God pours out his spirit, which he's doing right now in churches and ministries and businesses and families, the other night we were in our house and we said, we just feel the power and the presence of God in our house. To the, to the amount that we empty ourselves of us is the degree he'll pour in. We got to get ourselves ready for what's coming. Now, it's already here to a degree but I think what God is doing is going to last for quite a long season. Receive all God has. Now, I'm going to read something from uh, Lena Vazer. She said, I heard the Lord say, expect the rain. And then I began to see the rain of his spirit raining down on, on the garden of our hearts. And no part of the heart was left untouched. Which means everything that you have consecrated to God, he is about to move on your life. You got me? Okay. Then it goes on to say, the rain is coming and going to begin to fall in every area, not only revive every area of the garden of our heart, but bring refreshment, new life, expansion, new growth, and fruit that you have not seen before. That is a powerful, powerful word right there. Expect the reign of the Holy Spirit. It's like, this is, this is how I see things. When God tells me to do something, I cultivate my life, my heart, my mind. Prophetic words are planted as seed. When I've got myself taken care of, I say, God, I, I believe I'm ready. Pour out on my, on my life. And then he starts pouring into my life. And that's when the harvest happens. You know, I would consider myself to be a blessed man walking in the favor of God. But every day of my life, I get before the Lord and I ask God to inspect my heart. Is there anything in my heart in my life that, that, that I need help on, that I need correction on or comfort on? I'm a willing vessel, Lord. I'm here and I am ready. And so also, you know, we, we got to be ready to expect 
the rain as Lena Vazer was was talking about. I got some notes here. Um, uh, a Coy Barker recently said, God is favoring you to become a greater influence and to prosper you. That that right there is what I'm talking about, the, the reign of the Spirit. Jennifer Ives recently said, you will see my hand of justice coming upon your life. The Lord said, I'm going to make wrong things right. Why, why is that so important? Because in your life, God needs you to do exactly what he's told you to do, what he's called you to do. And be aggressive about it. Holy Spirit will aggressively pursue you to put you in the right place. But he needs you to properly align your heart and your mind and your life with what he has for you. In all of my life, I've never seen such a powerful time to be alive, to move and operate and function in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. That is why you cannot have offense in your heart right now. That's why you can't have unforgiveness in your heart. What's done is done. Yes, we've all been done wrong. I've been stabbed in the back more times by spiritual sons and daughters, spiritual mothers and fathers. I love them, bless them, God bless them. I ain't got to have them in my life anymore. People have left me. That's good. Real Talk Kim says, I can love you. I can love you from way over there. Stay over there. Let me do what I need to do. You know, Matthew 16 in the Passion, it says, God manifest." your kingdom realm on the earth as it is in heaven. What I'm hearing from God right now has like just, just filled my heart and mind with extreme excitement because there's people I've been praying for for years. They're about to know my Jesus. I've planted so many seeds in people's lives I've watered those seeds. I've spoken life to them. There's people that, that I've been praying for. They're going to receive their physical healing. There's people that I've been walking with in business. They're going to break through and they're going to be prosperous in areas that they used to be just struck down, stricken by poverty. They're going to come through. This is a season that I have heavenly excitement, a heavenly expectancy. Every time we go to prayer meeting, every time we go to church, I'm expecting something powerful to happen. Powerful. Get your expectancy up. I remember a while back, somebody I was talking to and they wanted prayer. And I said, what are you expecting from God? What's God expecting from you? Nothing, I don't guess. <laughs> That's exactly what you're going to get. Man, I'm expecting. I got some prophetic words. I got some promises. When I read the, the scriptures, I get so excited because I know he's about to do some things. When when you, you know, Habakkuk 2 and 2, and it says when someone reads it, the, the vision written down, they may run with it. Maybe you need to go back and reread the old visions that you wrote down so you can run with it. When you remember the things God has spoken to you about, it changes everything. When your spirit is refreshed by old prophetic words, you, you, you start thinking, God, is this the season that it's all going to manifest? That you're going to align me with the right people, the finances to do it all? 
Is this the season, God? Friends, I'm telling you, now's the time. Now's the time. Hope this video helped you, encourage you. You know I love you guys. You know I always want to pray for you. Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. Hit that button. There's a place for prayer. If you want prayer, message me. I would love to pray for you. A lot of people message me and say, hey, Joe, tell me about the, the health program that you and Autumn are doing, helping people lose weight, walk in wellness. Um, tell me about being a health coach. I love helping people as a health coach, help, help them start their own business, their entrepreneuring business. Love what I do. I'm excited about business. I'm excited about our church. I'm excited about our social media stuff. My wife and I, we sit around and dream all the time and just talk about the goodness of God and everything that he's doing. This is a time that we need to get excited, all right? I love you guys. I pray you have a blessed day.